sunny Northumberland first ride of 2023 out on the beast the GS and the where is it 701 LR both of them belong to my friend Sean who is over there and we just come up to a ford that is normally really easy to get across not today <laughs> like every single river well it was raining all night new year's eve and uh has made the impact being every single river is totally up and this is normally a tiny little ford and today it really isn't so in summer you'd give it a go Lots of fun, ha 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 ha. Today it is one degree. <laughs> We're on a GS. It's not the kind of day to drop it in a fall. little bend where the light's right and Sean's gonna swing past and I'm gonna get some hopefully him still background blurry nice moving shots to show off the new revenge spec gear. Here's a rule of shoot and ride photography if you see a stack of logs, you must stop and get a photo. It is the law. <laughs> Here comes Sean. Let's see what we get. Oh, Sean! Sean! I've given Sean GPS, so he looks like he's fiddling around doing something. And I've got my 35 mil wide, because I can't get very far away. And we'll see what we get. guys two minutes just to tell you a little bit about the clothing that I wore today and help you understand how I layered up um, it was uh, very cold one degree zero to one degree um, there was one section where the road was in the shadow and it was black ice and we managed to stay upright 
Um, but yeah, it was very cold. So I had the Alpine, Ventspec Alpine windproof gloves on. Um, they worked really well today. Uh, I did cheat because <laughs> Sean's um, Husky has got um, heated grips, so they were absolutely fine. Um, but I think in today's conditions, they were probably just about at the um, limit of what um, these are uh, designed to do. Um, so, uh, jacket wise, this is the new single track blue jacket. Um, it's waterproof. Uh, very very waterproof it's got a hydrostatic head of 28,000 millimeters you can go and find another video find out what that means but essentially it's designed to keep you dry in prolonged um, wet weather conditions it has a hood didn't use it today but hood being really really handy if you're out camping or just walking the dog or taking the kids to school which is what I do quite a lot with this this is a size medium um, I normally set wear a size small um, I'm size small and everything else um, but this is the prototype we've got in a size medium um, and it was a, a good comfortable fit so I'm just gonna take some gear off and show you what's underneath so my layer underneath this is the Baltic insulator jacket it's the thickest mid layer we do. We've got a Baltic hybrid, which is a bit thinner, and Baltic insulated. I wore this today because it was very cold. If it was even colder or very windy, I might have considered putting the Baltic hybrid on underneath, but you then start kind of really like puffing out. Um, but today, uh, with the conditions that we're riding in, this worked really, really well. Underneath those two jackets, I've got the super shirt, which is CEAA rated. What this has allowed me to do is have essentially two fairly lightweight, I mean, the single track jacket is very lightweight, essentially like walking outdoor jackets um, worn on my motorcycle. Uh, those two jackets in themselves don't have any protection built into them. All my protection comes from this AA rated super shirt. And what that means is I've got all of my motorcycle protection um, taken care of in that layer, which means I can just wear um, anything over the top. So a warm, uh, the Baltic insulated jacket for warmth and the uh, single track jacket for uh, wind protection and water protection if it were to rain. And so underneath this, I've got the core long sleeve. Um, this is our uh, long sleeve base layer. We do uh, a long sleeve top. We do uh, shorts, which are essentially like uh, box shorts and a uh, long leg which go all the way down the bottom. Um, so this essentially is my first layer of warmth um, and with all of those layers built on, I really didn't feel cold at all. Uh, even though it was one degree, the sun was shining, at times it kind of felt quite warm. Um, but with all those uh, layers built up on top of each other, it made a very, very comfortable riding experience. And on my legs, uh, I've got the uh, linesman pants on. Now this is primarily a kind of spring summer pant, uh, spring summer autumn, because it is very, very breathable. Um, it's, they're not waterproof, but they are splash proof and, and dry very quickly. As you can see, they're kind of designed to look like and function like walking, uh, a pair of walking pants really, but they've got um, armor built in, um, which you can remove, but, but armor in the knees, as you can see, and in the hips, which I've chosen not to use today. Um, if it was raining, I would put a waterproof layer over the top. Because it was so cold, these are very breathable, so I made sure to wear a pair, and I'm not gonna take them off to show you, but I wore a pair of uh, core long leg um, base layer underneath, and that uh, essentially created the, uh, the first layer of warmth across the whole length of my legs. These on top was very, very comfortable. Again, um, if it was very windy, because these are so breathable, I might have put a waterproof layer over the top or doubled up my um, base layers underneath. Um, that's what I wore. Uh, thanks for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end of this little kit review. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them um, or drop me a message on our help desk. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you enjoy your cold weather riding and it won't be too long, hopefully, until spring arrives and we can all get out on our Trans Euro Trail adventures. See you soon.